Greetings for the day. I, Dr. Alka Singh from Sri Ram Sarup Memorial University, Barabanki, welcome you all to my lecture on factoring. What is factor? The word factor has been derived from the Latin word facer, which means to make or to do or to get things done. Factoring service in India is of recent origin. It owes to genesis or to the recommendation of the Kalyana Sundaram study group appointed by RBI in 1989. The first factoring company was SBI Factors and Commercial Limited in April 1991. Relationship created by an agreement between the seller of goods, public service, and a financial institution called the factor, whereby the factor purchases the receivables of the seller and also controls and administers the receivable of the seller. Factoring, also known as account receivable factoring or debtor financing. Factoring is a method in which a company, client, or you can say exporter, sell its account receivable, that means debt, to a bank or financial institution called factor at a certain discount. Actually, sellers or exporter or client are mostly selling goods or services on credit, where they face cer certain uncertainty. It may be three months or more where seller money is blocked or there are some other uncertainty of getting money back. So to be safer side, seller sells the receivables to the factor on discount. Now, account receivables are the amount owed to a company resulting importer, oblique purchasing company from the client seller exporter providing services goods on credit party involved in factoring there are three parties involved in factoring contract debtor that means buyer of goods one who has purchased goods or services on credit and has to pay for some once the credit period gets over sorry, has to pay for same once the credit period gets over. Client means seller of goods who has supplied goods or services to the customer on credit terms. Factor means financer who purchases the account receivable from the client means seller of good and collects the money from the debtor of his clients. Fact what is factor? A factor is a financial intermediary that buys invoice of a manufacturer or a trader at a discount and takes responsibility for collection of, collection of payment. Services offered by a factor Follow-up and collection of receivables from clients Second service, purchase of receivables with or without recourse. Third, help in getting information and credit line on customers. Credit protection means. Fourth, sorting out dispute if any due to his relationship with buyer and seller. Now we'll talk about the steps involved in factoring. Client concludes a credit sale with the customer, means seller sells the goods or service to the purchaser or customer. Second step is client sells the account receivable to the factor or financer and notified the same to the customer, means one side he supplies the goods or services to the importer or 
purchaser or customer and other side he sells account receivable to the factor third step factor makes an advance payment against the account receivable purchased after adjusting the discount or commission or interest on the advance means factor only pays 80% around to the client and remaining 20% after getting payment from the customer fourth step is factor maintain the customer's account and follow up the payment fifth debtor makes the payment due to the factor and finally final payment by factor make to the client when the account receivable is collected or on a guaranteed payment date uh, now we'll discuss the types of factoring factoring is divided into two parts disclosed factoring and undisclosed factoring Disco disclosed factoring is further divided into four parts records factoring non records factoring maturity factoring cross border factoring now we'll discuss about the disclosed factoring and undisclosed factoring disclosed factoring means the customer of business is aware of the factoring arrangement of the business on the contrary undisclosed factoring the customer means purchaser does not know about the factor arrangement the entrepreneur put a stamp on the business indicating the payment to be made to the factor in place of the staff of the business go uh now we'll discuss the uh, uh, parts of the disclosed factoring first is records factoring records factoring is an agreement between the client and the factor in which client is required to buy back the unpaid bill receivable from the factor up to 75 to 85% of the invoice receivable is factored interest is charged from the date of advance to the date of collection factor purchases receivables on the condition that loss arising on account of non recovery will be borne by the client means factor is not going to take any risk risk will be only with the client credit risk is with the client factor does not participate in the credit sanction process in india factoring is done with records now we'll discuss about the non records factoring non records factoring allows a company to sell its invoice to a factor without the obligation of observing any unpaid invoice instead if the customer default or customers not ready to pay on their payments or pay their invoice late any losses are observed by the factor leaving the business intact factor purchases receivable on the condition that the factor has no recourse to the client oblique exporter or the seller if the debt turns out to be non recoverable credit risk is with the factor here client is safe but her commission is charged factor participates in the credit sanction process and approve client limit means credit lim limit is approved by the factor given by the client to the customer in usa uk factoring is commonly done without records maturity factoring is next one also known as collection factoring fact collection factoring it's a type of factoring service in which the client oblique seller oblique exporter sells his invoice to the factor and in return 
de facto pays the client for such invoice either on the date of maturity or any date after the date of maturity factor does not make any advance payment to the client that means in recourse factoring and maturity factoring there is only one major difference that it their advance is paid here there is no advance is paid to the client pay on guaranteed payment date or on collection of receivables guaranteed payment date is usually fixed taking into account previous collection experience of the client nominal commission is charged no risk to factor now we will be discussing last type cross border factoring cross border factoring is a process by which an institution is one geographic jurisdiction has right to collect account receivable in other jurisdiction the collecting institution pay pays the seller a portion of the outstanding amount due it typically occur with the international trade entity such as exporters it is similar to domestic factoring except that there are four parties viz exporter export factor import factor and importer it is also called two factor system of factoring exporter means client enters into ex factoring arrangement with exporter export factor in his country and assign to him export receivables export factor enters into the arrangement with import factor and has arrangement for credit evaluation and collection of payment for an agreed fee notation is made on the invoice that importer has to make payment to the importer fact import factor now import factor collects payment and remit to export factor who passes on the proceed to the exporter after adjusting his advance if any where foreign currency is involved factor covers risk exchange risk also uh now we are going to discuss about benefits of factoring there are major five benefits first it ensures a definite pattern of cash flow from the credit sales second it serves as a source of short term finance third it ensures better management of receivables as factor firm is a specialized agency for the sale third sorry fourth it enables the selling firm to transfer the risk of non payments defaults or bad debt to the factoring firm in case of non recourse factoring last it discharges the selling firm from the burden of credit credit management and enables them to concentrate on other important business activities after benefits we have to tell about the limitations of factoring also factoring is costly as compared to other source of short term finance and there is another limitation the people have perception of financial weakness about the firm availing factoring services and third major limitation of factoring is it create adverse impact of tough stance taken by factor against a defaulting buyer upon the borrower resulting into reduced future sales in today's lecture we have covered factor definitions types advantages and limitations and here we come to the end of lecture hope you have understood the topic well Thank you